welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Gonzalez and I am so happy that you are tuning in again for another week of story time. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Each week I share a different bilingual story for children. And if you're enjoying the content and you love all the stories, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. La oruga muy hambrienta. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Al claro de luna reposa un huevecillo sobre una hoja. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Un domingo de mañana apenas salió el tibio sol. Del huevo salió una oruga diminuta y muy hambrienta. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Enseguida empezó a buscar comida. He started to look for some food. El lunes comió, comió y atravesó una manzana, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. El martes comió, comió y atravesó dos peras, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. El miércoles comió, comió y atravesó tres ciruelas pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. El jueves comió, comió y atravesó cuatro fresas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. El viernes comió, comió y atravesó cinco naranjas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. El sábado comió Comió y atravesó. On Saturday, he ate through un bizcocho de chocolate, one piece of chocolate cake, un helado, one ice cream cone, un pepinillo, one pickle, un trozo de queso suizo, one slice of Swiss cheese. Una rodaja de salami. One slice of salami. Una paleta. One lollipop. Un pastel de cerezas. One piece of cherry pie. Una salchicha. One sausage. Un pastelito. One cupcake. Y una tajada de sandía. And one slice of watermelon. Esa noche tuvo un tremendo dolor de estómago. That night, he had a stomach ache. 
Al día siguiente era domingo otra vez. La oruga comió una hermosa hoja bien verde y se sintió mucho mejor. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Ya no tenía hambre, ni era una pequeña oruga. Ahora era una oruga grande y gorda. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Construyó una casita a su alrededor, un capullo, y se encerró en ella por más de dos semanas. Un día hizo un agujero en el capullo, empujó un poco para salir y... He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... Se encontró convertida en una bellísima mariposa. He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Or we can say a Spanish chant that sounds something like this. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please comment below to let me know who was your favorite character and what was your favorite part of the story. And if you haven't already, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit our website to register for a free class. Link in the description below. Until next time, adios!